Hi y'all, welcome back to Jamie's Crazy Life. And it is a crazy life. Okay. I haven't done a video in a while because first of all, I've had lack of internet. Lack of Wi-Fi. So hopefully you will get this video. This video is just gonna be a hodgemodge of what's been going on at the schoolhouse. Some of this stuff you're going to see in this video was done a week ago. Some of it a week ago. So, I mean, I, uh, I've, I've been staying in the now the, I, okay. I've been in the schoolhouse now two, two nights, two nights, two nights. Okay. Slept solid, too. I'm telling you. No mice so far. <laughs> but I'm going to... I'm going to... Try to keep y'all informed. I'm hoping the Wi-Fi system that I got put in yesterday will work. Um, I've been at the schoolhouse... I've been at the schoolhouse today painting. Um... I had to run errands yesterday and pick up things I needed. Um, like an antenna because there's no TV out this way. Not that I'm a big TV watcher anyway. So I'm, I'm not a big TV watcher. It's more of a noise factor. And when you got nobody to talk to, it's nice to have the noise factor. Um, my biggest problems right now... I had to have the electrician out because I have lack of power, I think. So I'm waiting to hear what they come up with, what I need to do. Might be doing some wiring. I don't know if I'm ever getting back to Florida. I'm beginning to question that. <laughs> I am. I'm beginning to question it. I'm having the worst time getting someone to mow. So one guy last week was supposed to come out a couple, was supposed to come out and look at the job and tell me what he thought. And we texted back and forth, and then he didn't reply, and I gave up. And then I met a young man and his wife out here on Sunday, I believe. And he was going to come out today and do it. He called me like four or five hours ago and said, I'll be out in a couple hours, and he has not showed up. <sighs> That's going to be my busy, biggest expense with this house is going to be the lawn care. So, I think I'm going to have... My neighbor's been nice and talked to somebody down the road about doing it, but he's the most high-priced person in the bunch. So, I think I'm going to have to possibly go with him or see if he can just do it when I'm not here. And then when I get here, if I'm here for a few weeks, I go ahead and mow. That means i got to go buy a lawn mower and a push one at that in case... It disappears while I'm gone. <sighs> the headaches of owning a second home in a different state than what you live in. This is my first headache, is the lawn care. So headache number one, lawn care. So, I don't know. I'm tired of painting too. I've painted, I've painted the door to the bathroom on the living room side I painted the f okay I'm gonna call that the living room and this the TV room I had been referring to this room as the kitchen living room but I'm gonna call it the TV room and call that the living room I worked on the on painting the inside of the living room some more I still have to do it around the window again and I still have to go, I have to do the door, I have to give the door a second coat and paint the f top of the door. I'll show you guys. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Okay. Flip you around. Okay, this door is finally done on this side. Okay, but on this side, it's going to need one more coat. These doors suck up three coats of paint. So that needs one more coat. The window still needs to be finished. And see, I started on this today. I got to get a scraper to scrape away the paint. So this is going to take a little bit yet because I couldn't do that. But 
it takes time to paint. Um, and then still got to do the floor in the back, but I got this door painted. Let me move this chair. I got to repaint this. Floor. I got to repaint all the floors. I guess they just got their first coat. But see, the outside of the bathroom door, I got two coats a day. So that's done. I don't know what to do about that door jam yet. I might just paint it. It's been, if you guys look at it close, it's been hacked at in the past. There's been a lot of stuff that's been done to this house that I don't understand. So, the compost toilet is done. The cabinet I bought the other day is done. I want something for here yet, a vanity or something. Um, it's, I'm, I looked better before I got messy again. Um, the electrician was out, so the setup of the kitchen may change because... If they redo a panel, he said my refrigerator can't be there. So I don't know where it would be. If it can't be there, I'd have to have a plug over there. That was my dumpster dump find. I went to the dump and came across that. So it's just a miscellaneous. My washing machine just came in. My portable washing machine. So I'll unbox that in a few minutes. <sighs> I did make my bed this morning, but I've wallered on it already. So I did make it. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So it's 80 some degrees outside and I'm warm, but I'm not. I'm not like sweating. Does that make sense? Does, does that make sense? I should have opened. This is the room I don't want to deal with right now, but I'm going to have to deal with this. I think I'm going to be painting this room. <clears throat> I don't know what color. This is horrible. We're going to be putting that down a new floor. That's what all this wood is for, to put a floor down. But... I don't know what color to paint this room. I'm actually thinking, I'm actually thinking, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking gray, it won't show dirt, but I don't know. <sighs> so, I mean, I, I'm coming together, but yet I'm not there yet. So I'm going to stop this here, add the clips from before, and hopefully get you guys all caught up on everything. Okay? All right. Okay, you guys, I'm not sure about this at the moment. I'm not sure about that, that shelf in the bathroom. I'm not sure. And <laughs> the cabinet, the floor slants. There's nothing I can do about it. It just does. So I'm not quite sure how this room's coming together yet. I don't know yet. I just set it in there out of the way. But I'm going back to Bevels and West. But oh my gosh, you guys, I'm old. <sighs> These are the recliners. The brown ones are staying in this room. These tan ones, these cream ones are going in this room here on this wall over here where the wood is. So that's the plan. That's the plan. But the brown ones are staying in here because I think the brown ones look better against the light wall and I think the light ones look better against the dark wall. That's my thought and that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave now because I'm pooped. I had to come up this flight of stairs with those suckers. And the bases were heavy. So... I'm going to lock up and leave. I was going to put a couch over here, but when I got in that bargain hunt place for my, um, to get the, um, 
mattress and they didn't have it. Like I told you guys, I saw the four recliners. I'm looking for stickers. I want to get them off. When I saw the four recliners, and these are brand new recliners. Um, I scratched the handles of my truck. I think I scratched that one up right down there. Pulling it up the steps, but I did it. These are brand new recliners for $219 each. Oh, where, where can you get brand new recliners? Oh, come on. There's these stupid stickers on the back of the fabric. And I want to get them off before they get funky in the heat. But where can you get new recliners for $219 a piece? I mean, that basically means that the two chairs in this living room cost me, well... 440 where am I gonna find a couch for less than that brand new um, so that's where I stand right now I'm gonna lock up and leave cuz I was tired okay you guys welcome back to Jeannie's crazy life okay okay I've been painting cuz I had to wait for my bed to arrive in the other video I um had to carry my recliners into the schoolhouse by myself. Those suckers were heavy. So um when I got them in the schoolhouse yesterday, I went back to Bevel's and Wes's and I sat down and I decided I needed a mattress and box springs. I went on Facebook Marketplace. And I looked up mattresses, and I found in Mount Sterling a place called Surplus City, and they had them advertised for three ninety, two ninety nine, two ninety nine, uh, pillow top mattress and box springs for two ninety nine, and uh, I said, by chance, do you deliver? And the guy. Uh, messaged me back that yes they did but they had to charge for it and I was like that's okay because after carrying four recliners into this schoolhouse by myself ah, and I know I know I could have gone and got bevels and she would have come and helped me I know that and Wes if I really 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 begged he probably would have not gone to work and he probably would have come and helped too but they have to work and they have to get things done. She's got animals and critters. So I was like, no, I'll do it myself. So, but I paid for the delivery of the mattress. Let me flip you all around. Look, I have a bed. Oh, you don't know how excited I am to have a bed. You have no clue how excited I am to bed. At first I thought the hole in the ceiling was gonna drive me up the wall sleeping in it. But I don't think so now. Even if an army of mice look down for me up above and want to pounce on me in my sleep that's okay I'll just become a twilight episode but look you guys I have a bed y'all have no no idea how excited I am to have a bed and it's not because I want out of bevels and wesses that's not the problem the thing is I do want to get out of their hair because I don't want to begin. I've always heard the term, stay long enough, don't stay too long, where you smell like, where you smell like dead, rotten fish. So, I want to get out of their hair before I smell like rotten fish. That's just been stuck, sitting around too long. But, I have a bed. I laid on it once. Oh, it feels good. I think. <laughs> It was sight unseen because, you know, I just, I, I've been pricing mattresses. Let me flip you off. I'm sitting on the little schoolhouse desk. I have been pricing mattresses all the few places I've been, like the Peddler Malls sells them. This place where I got the uh, recliners yesterday, they sold them, but they were out of full-size beds. And the, and the headboard I bought this metal headboard this in it came from the peddler's mall i think it's antique i'm not sure how old it really is but 
I got it at the Peddler's Mall. And I priced mattresses there. And I came out, I would say, about the same price, with the, even with delivery, if I bought it at the Peddler's Mall. Because I want to say the mattress alone was like 260 for the mattress on top. And then the base was going to be, I don't know what. So another guy I talked to on Marketplace wanted $80 for box springs. And two something for the mattress. So I came out about the same and I got it delivered and I didn't have to haul it up. And it's done, it's over with and I got it and I'm happy. Now I get to go shopping for sheets. So I think what I'm going to do is I've been painting the cabinets. I'll show y'all what I've been doing. Ugh. That's called old age. Put y'all on. I've been painting. Okay, I haven't gotten very far, but I painted the outside of the kit of the back of the sink cabinet. This cabinet here, where my dishes are gonna go, I got the inside painted. The door is painted, but I did not get this right side yet. So I'll come back and do that. It's got two coats. It's just, it was gross. Um, the bottom of the shelves, there's one of them and there's the other one. The bottom of the shelves are painted. There's contact paper on the top of the shelves that I don't think I'm ever going to get off. So I'm just going to paint it. Because there was contact paper in this drawer and I could not peel it up. So I painted it. Oh, I painted it. So... Like I said, this cabinet has had two coats on the outside. So I will let it dry overnight. Um, and then tomorrow, I will come back in here and I will paint the top of the shelves. We're working on water again tomorrow. And I might paint the inside of the cabinet. And then I've got that cabinet there to paint and these two cabinets to paint yet. Look what Bevels gave me. She gave me two Aunt Jemimas. The one on the right is old and the one on the left is newer. But I got Aunt Jemimas in my kitchen. I'm so tickled. I used to have one of them. And I have no clue what ever happened to my Aunt Jemima. I have no clue. Whatever happened to her. She might be boxed up in a box. She might be boxed up. I might put Aunt Jemima's on top of the shelf up there. I had to see. But I didn't want anything to happen to him right now. I carried him in careful because I kid you guys not. I kid you guys not. I carried. I bought this from the Peddler's Mall. And it was like in mint condition. It, and the, the thing about it was it had a heavy duty zip tie attached here to here. And I was carrying this only in one hand. It, it came, when we got it at the Peddler's Mall, I put it in Suzanne's van, and it got jumbled around. And then um, it got uh, put in the back of my pickup truck and gotten jumbled around. But when I got to here, I carefully made sure the lid was on flat and that I carried it in with only one hand. And I kid you not, when I turned the corner around the schoolhouse, all of a sudden, this was the only thing in my hand. The lid was on top of it. I wasn't swinging. I was just carrying it like this, carefully, with nothing else in the hand. All of a sudden, this lid went flying off, and the uh, zip tie got snapped. There was not a breeze. There was nothing. I'm telling you guys, I think this place is haunted. It almost seemed like a mischievous kid came up and, like, knocked it off. I kid you not. I'm not, <laughs> my, da my daughter would say I was crazy, but mm -mm, it, went, it went not. Well, I'm going to grab a cold drink, and I'm going to hop in the truck, and I'm going to go to Wally World and buy myself some sheets. Let this stuff dry. But I'm happy I got a bed. All right, in a bit, y'all. All right, you guys, we got a sheer curtain on the front door. And then we got curtains there. All right, y'all, look, we got a toilet now. Look, we got a toilet. 
But we got a toilet. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Gonna paint it gray. But we got a toilet. I'm so excited to have a compost toilet. My little world got happier. I got water now. I got a commode. The kitchen looks good thanks to Bevels. Wes was the handyman on the toilet. So, he's a professional commode box builder. But even look at the kitchen. See how nice the kitchen looks? See, and your mama lives there now. Bevels painted that. Bevels painted that. And it looks so good. It's almost moving. It's moving ready. It is moving ready. We got water and a crapper. That's all you need in life. And a bed. Got curtains up. These curtains are staying their original. Those curtains are staying their original. So I have some returns. I have some returns. See how good everything looks? Happy camper. Happy glamper. Alright you guys, welcome back to Jamie's Crazy Life. I am loaded up, I am packed up, and I am heading over to the schoolhouse to stay. So, I, <laughs> Bevel's just served me a nice breakfast. Brunch, whatever you want to call it. She said it wasn't much, but oh my gosh. Well, her little isn't much is a lot. So, um, they sent me on my way with a full belly. So, I am headed now over to the schoolhouse to put sheets on my bed and stay at my schoolhouse. So that's my plans. Stay at my schoolhouse and work on it a little bit. So I will see you guys in a bit. So that's my plans. See y'all. Okay, you guys, I'm not at the schoolhouse yet. <laughs> I started leaving and I realized that Bevel's left her phone in the car in the truck this morning when we went over to when I went over and met her sister so I ran that back to her and then I just got stuck in a traffic jam behind some huge some sort of farm equipment and now we're going again so now that you guys have seen the video and I got you as caught up as possible I'm gonna say like and subscribe if you don't like the video, I'm sorry. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Talk to you later.